Tanda tayong katawan eh. Okay, now. Let's proceed with the learning. Okay, so magtuturo tayo ngayon on how we are going to edit videos. Basics, okay? So you don't need to be expert on something for you guys to be able to edit quality videos for your vlogs or for any other stuff. All you need to do is just uh, the basic, the core learning for video editing. So this time I'm going to teach you that one. We are going to use a lightweight application. We are not going to use Adobe Premiere, Adobe After Effects, Filmora because those uh, video editing softwares may eat a lot of your resources in your computer, especially if you are using um, standard computers or basic computers for students or for regular office employees. So the application that we are going to use or the software that we are going to use is Vegas. Okay, so if you're familiar with Sony Vegas, it is from Sony Systems. Um, of course, we're familiar with Sony, right? So it's from Sony, so definitely it's a good one. I'll be teaching you the basics, the core knowledge in video editing. Okay, so let's start. Now let me pull out the application for you. This is the Sony Vegas environment. Okay, so since it's already opened, all I need to tell you right now is the basic interface or the panels that we will be dealing with. The first panel is this one. This is the menu bar. So of course it's present in all Microsoft Windows applications and programs. And we have the shortcut panel. So Primarily, kung ano po yung nagigita natin dito sa taas, nandito lang din po siya para mas mabilis po natin ma-access. Kaya tinawag siya na shortcuts panel. Then next, meron tayong tinatawag na media panel. This is the media panel. Sa media panel, meron po tayong iba't ibang tab. So, let's get down to it one by one. The first one is the project media. Pag sinasabi natin na project media, dito po natin makikita lahat ng mga uh, projects na gagawin natin. Uh, later on. Then, Explorer Media or the Explorer Panel. Dito po tayo pwedeng mag-explore uh, sa ating computer kung saan nakalagay yung mga videos na i-edit natin. Okay? Next, we have the transition. So, just like PowerPoint, ganun din po si Vegas. If you're familiar with Microsoft PowerPoint, you can provide transitions on each and every videos that you are going to edit. Next is, we have the Video Effects Panel. Now, to provide effects on the videos that you are going to edit. For now, medyo basic lang po yung gagamitin natin na editing. It's because uh, you yourselves are going to explore more on the application environment. Okay, next is we have the media generators. Dito po yung part from which you can add titles or texts on the videos that you are going to edit. You can provide credit rolls, you can provide textures, and so on. Okay, marami po pwedeng paggamitan yan. Next is the project notes. Well, project notes basically if uh, you are going to edit something and you need to provide notes for the other editor so that they have an idea on what are the things that you have included on your project. Something like that, okay? So, hindi na natin siya i-detail since kayo lang din naman yung mag-edit. So, ibabalik natin siya sa explore window. So, we are going to find a video. So, meron po akong mga videos dito. Uh, I'm just going to choose one video to edit para alam natin kung ano yung gagawin natin. Now, if you have chosen a particular video, all you need to do is just to click on that one and drag it on the timeline. This is called the timeline area. Okay? So, the timeline area is the place from which uh, you will be able to edit the videos that you have imported on your Vegas environment. Now, para ma-preview po natin yung ating video, all we need to do is just to press our space bar on or, of course, keyboard para mag-play po siya. Yeah. I just got this one. I got this video from YouTube. It's just, uh, what they call this? Um, collection of memes. Okay. Something like that. Okay, there. Now, let's to stop the video, you can just press your spacebar. There you go. Now, if you want to navigate on the video, 
you can just point your mouse cursor in here automatically mananavigate nyo na po yan ganyan po yung mangyayari now, pinakaunang gagawin natin first, kailangan alam natin kung saan si video, saan din si audio so I'm just going to resize this one a little bit like that <clears throat> now, mapapansin po natin yung nasa taas, eto po yung video yung nasa baba, eto po yung audio Okay? So, mapapansin po natin sa audio, makikita po natin yung tinatawag natin na wavelength. Okay? Dito po yung wavelength ng ating audio. Mapapansin po natin kung ano yung mas mataas na wave, yun po yung ating uh, may boses. Okay? Or may sound. Look at that. Now, if ever you are going to reach this part, mawawala po yung sound. It's because wala naman pong sound waves na nakikita. Okay? That is how it's how it's gonna work. Now next, ano ba yung next natin nagagawin? To trim a video. So for example, meron ka lang specific na video na gusto. Medyo mahaba nga to. So ang specific video na gusto ko lang is somewhere in here. Etong mga lalaki up to I think kung saan siya mag-end, na mag-iingay yan. Okay, from this area so pagsisimula up to there now another tip uh, in order to zoom in sa timeline natin you are just going to scroll up di ba yung mouse pointer natin merong scroller yung nasa gitna okay? so isuscroll up nyo lang po yan para makapag zoom in tayo para mas makikita natin yung areas na dapat nating i-edit so for example ang i-edit ko is from here Mapapansin nyo po may uh, wavelength or sound waves, right? So lahat po ng may mga sound waves, dyan po nagsisimula yung video up to the end of this sound wave which is over here. Yan. If you want to trim that area, all you need to do is just to click on the video. Pag napapansin nyo po na naka-yellow na po yung outlines niya, that's the time that you can highlight the video. <coughs> okay? First, you need to press, then highlight, from the very beginning of the sound wave going to the very end of the sound wave makikita nyo naman po yung preview dyan sa taas up to there okay na po yan now once you are satisfied with that area ang pwede nyo pong gagawin is isisplit po natin si video how are we going to do that just press letter S on our keyboard press letter S there you go mapapansin po natin if ever I'm going to hover my mouse over here, click, nag yellow po siya, ibig sabihin pwede mo na po siyang madrag. Click in here, ayan na po. <coughs> click on this one. Let's say I don't need this part of the video. I'm just going to click on that one, press my delete key on my keyboard. And this is a specific part of my video. And I'm going to delete another part of the video, which is this area. Press delete. Now, I already have acquired a specific area of my video. So, let's try to view this one out. Press my space bar. Okay, there. Now, that is how you are going to split a video. Now, let's say for example, if you want to trim the video, let's say gusto mo i-trim yung pinaka-start kasi medyo mahaba na siya. And you don't want that area. So all you need to do is hover your mouse over here. <coughs> Pansinin nyo po yung ating pointer. Nagbabago-bago po siya. Pag hover ko po ng ganyan, nag-iiba po yung itsura ng pointer natin. Pag hover ko po ng konti sa taas, nag-iiba rin po yung itsura. Meron pong specific purpose yon. Yung pinakauna is yung trimmer. I-hover ko po yung mouse over here. Then click, drag inwards. So ititrim ko yung start. Let's say gusto ko lang makita is yung mga ingay ng tao or yung pagsisigawan nila. So I'm just going to drag it inwards up to in there. There you go. Now you have trimmed the video successfully. So I'm just going to drag it from the very beginning there. Next is I'm going to double click on this area. Bakit ito double click ko? Kasi medyo mahaba po yung looping area niya. Ang tawag po dito is looping area. Na yung looping area, ito po yung kinakover ng ating video. Minsan, pag i-export po natin siya or i-render na, masasali po yung black background. And we don't want that one to happen. 
So to remove that back black background, you are just going to double click on this area. <coughs> Yan. So mapapansin po natin yung looping area natin ng exit. <coughs> At nag-fit po siya sa video. Now, next is eh, inom ako ng tubig. Yan. Okay. Um, next natin na gagawin is we are going to play it just to test if it's working properly. Now, by the way, guys, same thing din po yung mangyayari if ever you want to trim the outward area <coughs> or this area. Ganun lang din po. Hover your mouse, drag inwards. Okay? Now, let's continue. I'll press my stop button back there, then play or spacebar. There. So, napapansin po natin, yung nakikita natin is yung start ng pagsisigawan ng mga lalaki. Okay? That is how you are going to trim the video. Now, we're not yet done. Let's say, for example, you want to fade the beginning and the ending of the video. How are we going to do that? <coughs> so, first, you need to zoom in the video para mas makikita natin yung gilid-gilid by scrolling up using this button. <coughs> there you go. Over your mouse on this area until you will be able to see that particular icon. <coughs> this is the fade in offset icon. Click, drag in words. Now, if gusto nyo rin na pati yung audio mag-fade, hover over here, click, drag in words. Mapapansin po natin may slope na nangyayari. So, if ever you are going to preview this one, hindi pa masyado. So, we are just going to drag this more inwards. There. So, mapapansin po natin, nagkakaroon po siya ng fading effect, including the audio. From black, fading in. Now, if you want to fade out, let's say on this area, kasi pag i-click po natin siya, automatically nag -end. And we don't want that one to happen. Hover your mouse over here. Drag inwards. Mapapansin po natin, nagbabago po yung ating waves. Same thing on this area, on the video area. Click nyo po muna. Hover your mouse on this part until you are able to see the fade out offset. Click inwards. There you go. Now, let's try the video. Back muna. Space mode. There. That. See? There is the fading effect of the video. Now, next. So, we're done with fading. We're done with splitting. We're done with trimming. This time, we are going to deal with joining. Okay? We are going to join two different videos. So, let me check on... A different video let's say this one is another video click on that drag it over here yeah so let's say I'm going to use this one as my intro this is my previous intro video so I'm just going to drag this one outward a little bit drag this one inward yeah ngayon mag overlap po sila guys and if you don't want that one to happen ang ginagawa ko po is dinadrag ko lang po siya pa baba baba yeah Drag nyo na po, pababa ng pababa. Until, yan. Okay. Automatically, magkikreate po siya ng panibagong track. Okay. Pag may pinagpanibagong track, ibig sabihin, pag drinag nyo po yan, hindi po affected yung nasa taas na track. Okay. Ito po yung mga tracks niya na tinatawag. Pag merong track na hindi natin nagagamit, all you need to do is just to delete that track. Malalaman po natin yung track na hindi nagagamit is walang nilalaman dito. And we don't want that one to happen na maraming track na ganun. So you're just going to right click on that track, then delete track. There you go. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is ilalayo natin ng konti sa main video natin. Up to in here, para if ever you are done with this video, automatically this video will fade in and play. Okay? Again, yung ating looping area is hindi po akma dito sa ending point. So, all we need to do is just to hover your mouse over here, then double click. Okay? Now, let's start again by playing the video. There you go. Now, we are done with joining two videos. 
Now, another thing that you need to remember is the audio quality. Now, the audio quality is okay. However, hindi naman po pwede na pag nag intro tayo, medyo mahina yung intro natin. Then, pagdating sa video proper, medyo masyadong malakas, nakakabingi. We don't want that one to happen on our videos. So, all we need to do is just to make it balanced. Paano po magbabalance? Sa tenga na po natin, maglalaro yung pagbabalance nun. So, how are we going to do that? Mapapansin po natin yung ating audio wave. Yung audio wave po sa ating intro is medyo maiksi. Then, yung audio wave po sa ating content is medyo makapal. Right? Ibig sabihin, mas malakas talaga yung audio wave nito. Now, to lessen the amplification of the audio wave of this one, all we need to do is just to hover your mouse on this area kung saan yung track na yan located, then drag it inwards. Ibig sabihin, pag mas mababa po yung decibels, mas mahina na po yung tunog niya. Okay? But be sure na titimpla-timplahin nyo po yun. Okay? So, I'm just going to drag inwards a little bit, then play the video. Everything clear. See? Hindi na po siya ganang kalakas, hindi na po nakakabingi. Now, pag sa tingin ninyo masyado ng mahina, you can just uh, place it back. The original or the default is 0 dB or 0 decibels. Or you can just type it in there, double click, 0. There. Now, if you want your intro to be louder a little bit, of course, ganun din po gagawin natin. Scroll up. Let's say plus 10 decibels. Let's try if Oh, mas malakas na, right? Equal na lang siya. Another tip, malalaman nyo po kung masyadong maingay na po yung ating video through this one. Ito po yung tinatawag natin na uh, volume indicator. So sa volume indicator natin, pag play po natin yung video, pag umabot na po siya sa pula, ibig sabihin sobrang lakas na po niyan. As much as possible, hanggang green lang or until yellow lang po yung ating audio. Follow po. Okay, so now let's say you're done with joining videos. Actually, we're done with the basics. Okay, <clears throat> we already know how to trim, how to weld. Oh no, how to trim, how to split, how to fade, how to join videos. Yun lang po yung gagawin natin. Those are the basics. Pag alam niyo po yung basics, then definitely you can do experimenting on different stuff of video editing. Now I will be teaching the advanced version of this one <coughs> soon on my vlog but be sure that <coughs> you are familiar with the basics or the core okay so that's it for now oh before that i need to teach you on how you're going to export the video or how you're going to save the video for your youtube channel or for just playback on your devices so first you're going to click on file <coughs> then click on render as okay but first, you need to save the file. So in case you need to change something, you need to save the Vegas file or the original raw file for this. Click on file, save as, or save it somewhere you want to save it. Now, if you want to render the video, just click on file, render as, there you go. Wait for the environment to load. Now, marami po tayong makikita dito. Okay, so all you need to do is just to check on this one, the Magix HEV AAC MP4 file. So this one is the universal file from which all the devices can play your video. Okay, so just click on that one, take note of that, okay? Then, scroll in here, marami po tayong templates na pwedeng pagpiliin. For me, since I am uploading videos on YouTube, so, I am using the internet or internet HD 1080p 29.97 FPS. It can be Intel or AMD, it won't matter. But since I'm using Ryzen processor for my um, laptop, so I'm using AMD. Okay, so it won't matter. And I'm just going to save it in there on my folder. You need to find a specific folder where you are going to save your videos because it might take a while in rendering the video okay then click on render wait for the rendering time to load actually if you have a slower laptop then it might take a while however uh, at least this one is more lightweight and easy to use that is how you're going to edit videos the basics okay so thank you so much for watching and subscribe for more topics like this have a nice day